We, people of diverse religions. 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 We, people of diverse we, religions. People of we, people of diverse religions. religions. We, people of diverse religions. The sentence that begins URI's charter took us four years to write it. We had four global gatherings, 20 regional gatherings, and thousands of people involved in creating a vision and putting that vision to words. And I can't tell you how difficult it was to bring thousands of people into one sentence. I sat with 30 people who cared passionately about the purpose statement and wanted to know for them, what do you need to have in the purpose statement to be able to find yourself there? An Anglican bishop said, God has to be in the purpose statement. And then a Buddhist monk said, God can't be in the purpose statement. You can't get more oppositional than that, God and not God. I'm thanking my God for bringing us together here. I believe that we are all representatives of the people of the world so that we will have peace and love together in the future. The earth has been drenched in blood with people of different religions, different cultures, different tribes fighting each other in the name of what they believe is most ultimate. That has to cease. Religion can be used or misused like any other, any other thing in our world. It can be used or misused like ethnicity, it can be used or misused like nationalism, it can be used or misused like um, whatever it is, yeah? And often I believe it's because of ignorance, ignorance about the other party that hatred pops up. Almost every religious tradition has within it elements that um, more often than not are the interpretive ones, the ways in which people have interpreted their scriptures and interpreted their traditions. Those interpretations and those traditions can very easily translate into the justified use of violence. You find human beings believe in different things from what their religion itself says. That is the problem. It is uh, some extremists who perhaps uh, have not uh, understood the teachings of their own religion that is bringing about this division. Because all our religions are talking about unity. All peoples on all uh, different religions assume that they, uh, they only right. We've all learned God in our tribal uh, focus. And um, whoever God is is bigger than our tribe. And therefore, the question is, well, what do we do about God and all those people in other tribes? Uh, do we fight with them, uh, exclude them, uh, demonize them, uh, or do we uh, learn to embrace them and the truth that's in them and uh, work together for common good uh, with them? When you look at the history of religion, there is no place in the world you can go where you don't see incredible violence hatred even in the name of religion. There's also no place you can go where you don't see incredible good in the name of religion. The United Religions Initiative exists to help the good become more visible. You are, I believe, interface is the pathway to build a culture of peace. We are saying, we've been hearing about the problem. What's the point? to chant on the problem. Let's be part of the solution. We're a global community of self-organizing cooperation circles that now are in 67 countries. Those groups have the right to determine what they do and how they do it, as long as it's consistent with our preamble purpose and principles. We all have come together uh, from different religious and cultural backgrounds. I grew up in a Protestant environment. I'm from uh, Islam faith. My mother is a Muslim. My father is a Christian. One of the things that can happen through cooperation circles is that people are able 
to be curious about each other's understandings. I just understand that we all are from the same source. We may have different religion, but we have common values. Our, our friends in India, of course, you've picked a big one. <laughs> this hundred year church conflict where they won't even speak to each other. There is a, a rift within the Orthodox Church. The Jacobite and the Orthodox faction, they are fighting. It's really a very serious problem because it has been there from the beginning of the century and so many churches remain closed because of this issue. We have had occasions when 3,000 people were killed. You know, both factions own so many schools, colleges, seminaries, churches. They are more concerned about the division of the property. You and I decided to get involved in the problem because it's our concern to end all religiously motivated violence. And slowly, I think this problem will be solved. Interfaith cooperation is a very, very important tool. I feel interface approach is a tool that we must really take up and use so that we make the world a better place for us to live on, so that we promote peaceful coexistence, so that we promote love among ourselves despite of difference in belief and or difference in faith. In the Philippines, the most important interfaith issue is building relationship between Muslims and Christians. The goal of this is to have a forum wherein we, the religious people, can come together to create an atmosphere of uh, amity and peace. We train Muslim and Christian leaders in grassroots communities to uh, relate with one another in ways that are respectful. And this is where the Peacemaker Circle is working. So, tungkol naman sa religion, Muslim man or Christian. Whether you're a Muslim or a Christian, the important thing is how to put that peace in your heart and in your mind to be used as a basis for our interaction. We look at people as human beings. We recognize that they differ as Christian and Muslims. We respect those differences. But the fact is, they are human beings. Because me as a Christian, him as a Muslim, we are all created in the image of God. I have my nose, he has his nose. He has the bias, I have the bias. Why are we divided? We are serving one God. What we are trying to do is to find out the commonalities and to see how we can work together for building a culture of peace and harmony on earth. The world is moving toward a necessity to get religions to make peace among each other for the sake of the world. But nobody's ever seen the United Religions Initiative. Uh, it's, it's bigger than anybody's imagination, and it's going, to, it's going to get a lot bigger. When you see the history of the URI, including the designing of the charter of the URI, it's really people from all over the world that are coming together and designing it so they can see their own concern well written and highlighted in that charter and they said, well, I belong to this community. We found a way to move through language and come up with a sentence where a, an Anglican bishop could find God and a Korean Buddhist monk could find not God and they could link arms and join together as part of the founding of URI. We people of diverse religions. We people of diverse religions. We. We. We people of diverse religions. We people of diverse we religions. People of diverse religions. There are thousands of voices that speak through that one sentence. We people of diverse religions. We people of diverse we religions. We people of diverse religions. Spiritual expressions and indigenous, indigenous traditions. traditions throughout the world. Hereby establish the United, the United Religions, Religions Initiative, Initiative to promote enduring daily, daily interfaith cooperation to end religiously motivated violence and to create cultures, cultures of, of peace, peace, justice, and healing for the earth and all living beings.
The most remarkable thing about URI from my perspective is, in fact, we unite. 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 We are recognizing every religion, every spiritual expression. We unite. We unite. We unite. Oh, we unite. We unite. We unite. We unite. We unite. Everyone is welcome. We unite. 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 It helps you to be one and different at the same time. We unite. We unite. We unite. We unite. URI is not a religion, it's a way of life. We unite. We unite. We unite. One, two, a ten.